Jamie, uh, since we last met, so uh, you've injured your knee in the summer, or your knees in the summer. Um, how did you do this? Well, I actually, um, I was riding the snow centre and I came off a box like in an awkward position, just landed on the flat in like a big hole, and my knee just like crumpled, which felt horrible, and I knew instantly something was wrong. I actually took my board off and I couldn't walk at all, and I went into the first aid room and definitely knew something was bad, so I literally got into the hospital like two days later, head MRI scans, and I'd actually tore my medial meniscus, my lateral meniscus, is it lateral? I don't know if it's lateral, the other side, the other side to medial, uh, tore that as well, and I tore a little bit of my ACL, so it was not good, no, okay. not, not great. And this is straight after the Hemel run as well, nightmare. You have had an operation of rehab, have you seen? I have. Has that gone well? Yeah, it has gone well. The last, I think it's been 18 weeks. I did it on the 2nd of July when I actually hurt myself. Had the operation on the 18th of July. I can remember these because they were quite traumatic days, so I remember the date quite well. Um, and then on the 18th, after the 18th, it was straight into rehab and getting back on to, you know, getting back ready fit for snow. So yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, and it's been, and now I'm pretty fit, I reckon. Like I've been training like loads recently and I've been out to the mountains again and I'm back on the jump. So yeah, I'm raring to go. <laughs> yes. But, um, last year, when I interviewed you um, after the first Hemel run. And since yes. then you've gone back. Was that how long, after the first one you interviewed me last? Yeah. Oh my god, that's nuts. It feels like it feels like ages ago. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's that yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you since that you've now got Hemel Run 2. Yes. Um, I know it was bigger and um, apparently has seven more features than the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, more jumps. More jumps. <laughs> yeah. But, um, what was the reason behind it? Uh, did you have unfinished this business after the first Hemel Run? So we had to... When, when me and Joe Rackley were talking about the Hemel Run idea, um, the run that I did in the second Hemel run was actually the original run that I wanted to do first um, but we thought like it was not possible like it would be too hard to do and um, it was just wasn't really a wise thing to do for the first one so we went with the smaller option which was like three features and it was like a little bit more like possible in a way like we definitely thought like this can't go wrong I'll definitely be able to do this run um, so that was the first one and that's how it all started and then after the first one happened I felt like I needed to go back and do the run that I thought was not possible this music's just like ruining this interview yeah, yeah. just dance for us that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got that's the interview oh dear terrible do you want me to go again? yeah so uh, will there be a Hemel Run 3? I f <laughs> I don't know if there'll be a Hemel Run 3 I think we've kind of overdone it now I think two times is enough and I definitely think I'll be involved in the snow centre in other projects and uh, maybe it's just not at the snow centre so you'll wait to find out. I've got something in the in the planning stage so we'll see. Last year. That was yeah the, yeah uh, it's still two. it's still planning there's yeah. a lot of planning involved. Um, another thing you started is releasing weekly vlogs uh, yes. which are very tongue-in-cheek uh, yeah. quite often very random and yes. really roughly edited well in my opinion I hope they're not. Uh, yes there's yeah. me <laughs> that's my editing skills. <laughs> So can you tell me a bit, a bit more about them and uh, how did you come up with, uh, well, how did you come up with fresh new ideas? Fresh new ideas. I decided, well, the, fir the person who got me into vlogging in the first place was a guy called Marcus Butler. Now he's, like, I met him in the summer, like beginning of the summer, after the winter, and we got chatting and I did a few videos for him and we went snowboarding. He's got like four million subscribers on YouTube, so he's quite, you know, he's quite popular. And he said to me, like, I do an, I've got an interesting, you know, I do an interesting sport, I snowboard, I travel all around the world. And um, so he said I should, you know, give it a try and do one every week. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a go, I'll pick up a camera. And I decided to do it. And ever since then, it's kind of like been quite good. Like the yeah. feedback's been positive. People like the trick tip videos that I do, um, even though I'm not great at them. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm just hoping like over the winter it'll build quite, you know, quite well and yeah. I'll get more subscribers and um, I'll get better at it as well and yeah, fresher it's, ideas. So well, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I was like, oh damn, I need to put one out. I said I was going to put one out every Friday and I'm like, no, no, what I'm going to do. What can I do? I've been jumping in the pool all week. I'll just do that. <laughs> Why not? Why not?
Well, lastly, is um, what have you got planned for the new season? I, I know you said you're um, something big. Are you allowed to uh, tell me? No, something? no, I'm not allowed to. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Go on! Not telling you. Yeah, you. Everyone else, yeah, but you. Everyone else but you. No, I'm not telling anyone. It's going to be a secret. It's going to be a secret. Um, I think you'll first know about it when it comes out. So hopefully we'll get the, you know, hopefully we're allowed to do the project and make it happen. Uh, that's one plan for this winter. I'm also filming like a, a big video part this year as well. And I'll be competing as well, like six to seven contests. So I'm starting off in Breckenridge for Dutor, so that's my first one. Then it's Lax Open and then so on. So it's going to be a busy winter. Right, like always. Yeah, like always. Yeah. <laughs> I say cheers, Jay. Yeah, no Appreciate worries. That.